Ken charts are great, but there's a lot to talk about. Here we go. The name comes from this guy, Henry L. Gant, who designed the chart that we now know and love somewhere between 1910 and 1915. Let's jump into some details. This is the project summary task. All combined work, costs and total duration are shown on this little line. These are summary tasks containing all combined work, costs and total duration of that phase or section in your schedule. This is a task where we put our resources and where the actual action happens. This is a split task. No actual action is going to happen on the dotted line. This dark section, that is actually the baseline. And this is a schedule with a baseline. It represents the original state of your approved or original version of the schedule. This is an inactive task. No actual action is going to happen here. Work, costs and duration aren't part of the schedule anymore. This is a critical task. This is the task if that moves, the whole schedule is affected. Make this task your priority. This is the critical path. If the duration of anything within this path changes, the end date of your schedule is affected. Make this critical path your priority. This is a milestone. It moves dynamically with the rest of your schedule. This is a deadline. It doesn't move with the rest of your schedule. This is progress. You want as much of it as fast as possible without losing quality and money. This is the time scale. I have a separate video of that. This is dependency. And you know what? There's four kinds of them. This is lag. And just like Corona, if you have a positive lag, it's actually negative. This is a resource on a task. The person that is actually going to do the work for you. You can actually change where and what kind of text shows up in your bar charts. This is Dave the Duck. This is the bar style menu where you can change those values for texts and where it shows up. But you can also color code your Gantt chart. There's also a separate video of that. This is the today line, which is useful as a reference for you to show where you are in your schedule and how far you are along with the actual schedule itself. This is the status date line. It can be used as an alternative date stamp that you can reference on progress reports. These are progress lines, a really in your face zigzag way of showing progress or lack thereof. And this is a call to action. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and newsletter if you want to have additional content and comment down below if you like this kind of video.